Hello my friends, we are here in Newberry, South Carolina. Awesome little town. It's right off of Highway 26. I took the long way into town, but yeah, not too far from uh, Highway 26. So yeah, we're gonna look around and check this cool town of Newberry out. This is the old courthouse in Newberry, right here. Check out these Grecian pillars. Probably built in the 20s, I want to say. Oh, let's go around and check it out, see if they have a placard up. So the courthouse was built in 1908. Very beautiful structure, and I just love those pillars. So when you're in town, they have these nice convenient markers right there in the building to show you where to go, where everything's at. So, look at this little road here, check this out. Look at the old brick road here. See, I love this stuff. A lot of this is also pre-Civil War period too, this architecture. I love these little quaint back streets. Look at that, that is awesome. Looks like the city was founded in 1789. Wow, look at this, I just love this. Beautiful architecture. You especially feel like you're going back in time when you're walked down these streets. And it's like an apartment up here. It looks like the, a restaurant here, Cabana, right here. Right now it's closed. Check those old doors. Love the uh, molding around the uh, windows and over the entryway. Really nice. We're here, General Mercantile. Right there. Oh, look. <laughs> they were on the History Channel when well, the American Pickers came by and bought some stuff. And uh, doesn't look like, uh, I don't know if they're open or not. Doesn't look like they're open right now, though. But that's pretty cool. Love the old grates here. Underneath the, uh, the basement area of the building. Man, look at this. I love this. It's like you're almost on a movie set, but it's not. It's a real deal. Here's the town center here. Wow, look at this. This is beautiful. Love it. You just feel like you go back in time. And here's some history here. If you want to check it out, pause and read up on Newberry right here. Looks like the old department store, Bergen's there, and you got a cool mural here in the front the guy down there reading the newspaper got the old doorway there Hulkin booksellers let me pan around here so you can see this beautiful architecture here look at that and then right here love this building here very majestic the old marquee the old neon here Figaro Market sign. Love the colors, the paint job on all these buildings. It just really pops out. We're going to walk down this way. This right here kind of gives me that St. Augustine feel too. Uh, the colors and everything. Yeah, beautiful through here. The little balcony right there too, hanging over the street. And I just love they kept the old uh, brick road and a lot of these back streets. Just a nice, quaint town with a lot of character. And like I said, I just love the architecture, the brickwork, the masonry, the molding. Look at all this over the, the windows right here. Got this clay studio here too. It looks like they have classes and workshops. Something you need to sign up for. Yeah, these uh, Debbie Burton's Clay Angel Workshops, what it's called. And this here is the grill on Main. They serve lunch and dinner. Love the entryway. And 
This is the Berry Patch Boutique right here. I also feel like I'm in St. Augustine too with some of these older buildings. And you got Layla's place right here for lunch. It looks like I have a great choice of different hot dogs and stuff that you can choose from. That might be something that I might do for a quick lunch right there. And this is As Time Goes By Antique Shop here. Right next door to Layla's. We'll have to see if they're open. I love these plastic vintage Easter bunnies that light up something you put in your front yard. And then you got this cute little Westie right there. Right there. And here is the inside of the antique shop. Love it. We're going to take a walk inside and see uh, we might find something today. So cool. There's going to be a lot to see and go through here. Oh wow, look at these seven dwarves here. That looks awesome. And you got Cat in the Hat in a boat. And you got Goofy in an airplane. For 20 bucks, you get this autograph picture from Rat. Check out this old coat display here. And there's a cool Mountain Dew one right behind it. More cool stuff right here in this side of the store. You really have to look carefully. There's all kinds of cool little trinkets and antiques all through here. Love these old CB radios right here. I think we used to have this one right here. No, oh, that's pretty cool. We feature Anheuser-Busch, Budweiser, in bottles, 15 cents. And over here, you got the Red Goose shoes for boys and girls. Definitely a lot to see in this store as time goes by. Check it out. So we are gonna have lunch at Layla's Cafe. I got some hot dogs. So when you do get your dog, you're bring it out in this nice little box here. You got your napkins. I get the little uh, combo pack. So you get the chocolate chip cookie. Get your chips. And then of course, you get your dogs. So Layla's does serve sandwiches, hot dogs, and they have a cool ice cream bar there too. All kinds of flavors of ice cream. I will have all the information in the description. So check it out too. So you can see here on the old tile, it says the fashion must be an old department store. But now it's fitness, unique fitness. Looks like you have another variety shop here, DMV variety shop, where it's our service to meet your household needs. There's some really cool furniture in here. A lot of retro, Art Deco. It's a huge store, man. It goes way back there. Just if I get a little closer. Yeah, that's a huge store. For us. Sorry for the inconvenience. I will not be in the store. So if you want to get anything, please call me. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> I want to go in there and check out this John Deere bike right here. To go with your John Deere tractor. And it used to be a Belks. Got this quaint little park here in the center of town. Pan around here. We're gonna head down this way and see some more of this cool downtown Newberry. This is nice here. This is half full coffee and wine bar. Another antique place here. Look at that, several antique stores along this street. Love some of these old advertisements overhanging the building here. Purcell's Auto Loans Real Estate Insurance. Pretty cool. Oh, look at this one here. Look at the sign. They still have it out front. Wow, that is so awesome. That's uh, pretty rare when you see those type of signs still there on the window like that. And then over here, Good Sense Furniture. Right there. Yeah, I love those. They're still there. And here you have the Ritz Movie Theater, which is actually now a theater theater, live theater for the Newberry Community Players. And you got this Irish pub here, Poor Richards, P-O-U-R, like pouring a drink. And then next door you get Fabulous Finds. You head this way, check out this old gas station here with the three car garage and everything. I remember seeing those all over the place back in the 70s, 60s. But uh, yeah, a lot of those are gone now. Used to be all full service. You got this old Chevrolet Impala sitting here near the garage in front of the old gas station. 
And this is beautiful right here. This old Oldsmobile Cutlass Convertible. Wow, that is beautiful. That chrome in there too. And that is sharp. One nice car. That's the uh, F86. Well, hoping I won't get rained on while I'm here walking around downtown Newberry. And there again, another cool overhang sign. The standards on Main. Wondering if they used to show cars in that one. Who knows? <laughs> but that is pretty cool. And this is Aspen Wall, circa 1830. Look at that. Beautiful colors. Love the balconies. Really nice. And this Victorian over here, it's sold. Again, you had a huge wraparound porch, which I love. Come out here and just sit down have some coffee or tea and just watch the life go by just want to get another shot of the uh, Aspen Mall the house here that place is huge it's beautiful though so even while walking around near historic downtown Newberry you can see these beautiful homes kind of the Grecian style with the uh, huge pillars the Victorian style just gives you that old uh, southern feel to it so a good example i was talking about the grecian check that out it's like a mini white house without the uh, east and west wing attached to it <laughs> that's pretty awesome again the front porch awesome get that grecian statue there that greets you as you enter the house then over here you get this cool victorian style needs a little work to it but uh yeah you'll see a lot of that in this area the town really gives me that savannah charleston st augustine feel on the coast you know it's just yeah it just feels like you're there in one of those towns and that magnolia tree is huge a couple more oldies but goodies this old 3100 right here chevrolet pickup truck then down here is it another impala right here i think it is Oh, that's a Rambler. Okay. A whole Rambler right there. And this is pretty cool. It's an old Morris right here. Old convertible. And just sitting outside here in this open garage is an old Studebaker Commander. <laughs> and it's beautiful. 1949 Studebaker. It's got the suicide doors too. Wow, just sitting here in this outside garage. It's in great shape though. I love the flat gray. That's like appropriate for this car. I'm wondering at one time this could have been an old dealership right here. Because you get the garage over here, get the main offices there with the gas in the front, another garage over here, and then the outside shelter here for the cars. Yeah, you don't know. It might have been. It's definitely a pedestrian friendly city uh, a lot of families walking around town and because the neighborhoods are right next door to uh, historic downtown so yeah pretty cool and then you've got this beautiful building right here with a terracotta roof this is the new Barry Museum very nicely done it's been fully restored so here's the front of the Newberry Museum, and it's open Tuesdays through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Got this really nice garden right here, too. Statues, nice seating area to relax. Yeah, it's a nice little courtyard. I love it. It looks like people might live up there, too. I love the, how they painted these buildings. Different colors that really stick out. It looks like right here... Yeah, right here they used to have all kinds of cool advertisements. They're all gone now, but yeah, that's where they would have been. Then on top of the hill there, you got that cool Grecian style home. That's a different one, it's not the one we saw earlier, but it's on right on top of this hill, going towards historic downtown Newberry. Want to check out this church here too. It has beautiful stained glass. And I'm going to try to see when this was built. So this is a Methodist church, and it says it was erected in 1900, right at the turn of the century. From the 19th century going into the 20th century. 
you know, when I see this building here, like I said earlier, I just had that Flagler vibe to it from St. Augustine. Just the way that's uh, constructed. It's a beautiful building, and I love the balcony hanging over. And then I want to look down and see the wax museum. Yeah, it looks like here at one time, they also had advertising on the wall. That red kind of gives me that Coke vibe right there. Looks like that Coca-Cola red right at the bottom. Now, it's just not there anymore. And it's parking for tenants that live in the area. So when we first entered, there's a map in the front there too of downtown. But this is the Chamber of Commerce building. It's a beautiful structure. It looks to be, of course, pre-Civil War. Just all the Grecian pillars. Yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful building. And you get your downtown bike shop, bike baby, right here. And then Indigo Hair Lounge. And then Genesis. Right here. You gotta see what that's all about. Is that just a coffee shop? Yeah, it looks like it's a coffee shop and gift store, stuff like that. Sit down, grab yourself a cup of coffee in the comfy, comfy little couch. I just love the quaintness of this town. Man, and down here, you're stepping even further back in time. It's a little restaurant here. It's like it's Stephen W's. Probably open. Yeah, yes, it's a uh, white cloth. So since dinner opens at 5:30, right here, and then some more beautiful structures right down this way. Check out the little square here, the park. It's nice, really nice. You got this uh, little shoe repair shop tucked away down one of the side roads, and also you have the Hell Con Memorial Library right there, and another little quaint shop here, a little salon. Perfect touch. And if you want to bring your dog downtown and get him a bath, here you go. The Sudsy Pups. Right there. Cool little shop. Head down this way. And right here on the corner, you got Figaro Bar right here. And love the spinning marquee. Lighting up, flashing off and on. And here is the beautiful Newberry Opera House. Well maintained. Yeah, I mean, they take care of this. This is like a landmark. This is like an icon of a building right here. The Newberry Opera House. It's beautiful. And they still have performances here as well. And it's right in front of this beautiful park. And you've got that World War I memorial right there. So, yeah, this is really nice. They've got this whole memorial to all the different wars that have been fought. And all the uh, ones that sacrificed themselves from Newberry. It's been around here. And you'll see another cool shot of the Chamber of Commerce building right there. And this right here is honoring the American Revolution Patriots from 1775 to 1783. And that was dedicated on July 4th, 2012. And if, we, if you look up here, you get uh, here this. Below this marker is located a time capsule commemorating the bicentennial celebration of Newberry County. They're not going to open it until July 4th, 2076. Don't think I'll be here. So let me get a close up here so you can pause and read this uh, the history of the Opera House here in Newberry. And this is the Newberry Fire Department. And now it's been. Uh, renovated into the firehouse conference center this is really nice what they've done here preserving this beautiful structure that's real nice and i really didn't think we we're going to find this beautiful coca-cola advertisement but we did check that out beautiful and uh it shows you the dates over here it was done, actually the first time it was done was in 1942. Then it shows you the restore dates. But they've kept it here ever since 1942. And there's the artists and the groups that have helped maintain this. Beautiful piece of history. Coca-Cola. Take some home today. So I wanted to thank you guys for joining me on this little adventure to the magical town of Newberry. Cool town. 
lots to do, lots to see. There's a ton of history in the area. So I'll be posting that in the description so you can come and find out more about Newberry. But yeah, it's a very nice town. Love it. And uh, people are really nice, very family friendly as far as, I saw tons of families walk around from the neighborhood next door. Beautiful walks all through the historic area. Seen all the beautiful homes and these magnificent buildings and churches. But yeah, if you ever come to Newberry, just stay a while and do some shopping, do some eating. They got some really nice restaurants in the area. It's just a beautiful place to walk around and enjoy the scenery and just the history. All right, guys, stay tuned. We got more coming up soon, okay? All right, you take care. Bye-bye.